What is up everybody, it is I, Ronan, coming at you with a brand new installment in learning how to play. Today, a request from the Beast Ritualist himself, a buddy of mine, also does YouTube stuff, much better at this game than I am, if I am being honest. He wanted me to try out some sub terrors, so yeah, we have some TCG legal sub tears because I myself am playing in the TCG I try my best not to mix them sometimes I have to for certain card testings and stuff but that's a that's a whole other thing so yeah we have TCG legal sub tears I've actually been meaning to make a video like this for a while as you know I do love me some flippy flip effect monsters and uh, sub tears are really big flip effect monsters but, uh, yeah, got what I think are the good ones, and, you know, hopefully it'll go well. See you guys in the first game. Alright, welcome to the first game with I'm Only Q, man. I'm Only Q, oh, I'm Only Human. Yeah, we are the Alaskan Bullworm. Little Spongebob reference for you. Oh. And we built this deck to try to go first, so that, it, that that's pretty helpful. Uh, pre-prep is going off, so we can grab some boys. Well, ladies, I guess. Let's see. Hmm. Let's AVR attribute this and at least one other monster, so the total original level is equal to or exceeds. So I do... I see a play. It is admittedly not a fantastic play. But it is nonetheless and play. So we can activate this, send a sub terror monster. So let's go ahead and get Umastrix. Uh we can use that to flip something or not. So yeah. Now we will be summoning this Umastrix. And that is all we can do. So not a stellar start. Not a uh, stellar start. But you know, it is good that we have the nemesis in the grave, the warrior in the graveyard. Uh, that's gonna. Oh, it looks like we're playing against some relinquished or lair. Relinquished lair. Oh, relinquished lair would actually kind of be sick. That is neat. I'm I'm curious about you. I'm only human. Okay, so searching the Black Illusion Ritual. I guess that means he has Relinquished. Yeah, Relinquished is coming down. I believe he can slurp up our Umastrix. He slurped up our Umastrix. Oh, that is... That is upsetting. Um, I guess he can make another Relinquished if he wants to. Or just... Allure again, okay. Banish your relinquished. I'm guessing he is hunting for the relinquished fusion. Alright, so setting another. Alright. Uh, he does get a token out of it. Which is unfortunate for us. So let's see, what can we do here actually? Uh, that face down defense position. Uh, let's go ahead and try to get a search. Bait out any possible back row. Okay. So if we go for warrior, that would probably be bad. Uh. Okay, actually, uh, I think Nemesis Archer might be the way to go here. If only so we can get the Umastrix in the graveyard. Because I do want that Umastrix. Hmm. But yeah. In a rather rough spot here. Okay, so he's gonna in phase slurp. Not sure why you didn't just slurp. Is there something I'm missing? Let's see. Then try one effect monster. Equip it to a. 
eyes restrict fusion or relinquished. Okay. Why didn't you just do it when I attacked unless you wanted more damage? Okay then. Uh, let's see, so... Ooh, there is Lord of the Lair. Dangerous boy. So taking that big hit. Thankfully, we don't have anything that to tribute. Uh, so he tributed himself. Okay. Uh, I'll put the prediction ritual on the bottom of the deck for now. Probably don't need it. Okay. So now he should get two tokens. Three tokens. Okay. Uh, good wall on his part. Uh, sure. Go ahead and reinforce him with the army. Uh. Can I activate its effect? So let's just battle. I guess. Uh, this is immediately not going great. But you know, I think we can uh, pull this back a little bit. I think we can pull this back a little bit. Alright, so we said another. He can tribute one of our. He can tribute our warrior, unfortunately. Or reactivate lair. Okay. So, what does he have now? Ooh, new manju. Uh. I don't think he can do anything else here, unless he has a virus trap. Okay, so he's just ending, and he's not getting any tokens. Okay. Uh, this is this is pretty good actually. So let's see. We will, for now, summon another warrior. Activate warrior's effect to send a brand new sub-terror. So we already have Umastrix, so... Fiendus, I guess. Can just tribute that one to summon our Fiendus. Use the Fiendus' effect to flip itself. And then we can special summon any of these so let's just go from the let's go from our graveyard for now now we activate this effect to flip down and then we can summon the Umastrix from our hand and we will go ahead and activate that to set that and end our turn so alright cool and we got tokens so honestly, not a awful defensive board right now. Even if he can slurp up our stuff, I feel pretty confident with where we are. All right. So important thing, we gotta banish that lair. Okay, we are not a fan of the lair. All right. Cool. Solemn, actually. All right. That's pretty good. So first up. We'll flip summon this Umastrix, use its effect to banish a monster. Okay, uh... Let's go ahead and hit that Thousand Hands. Then we can use our other Umastrix. But we can actually... Do something here. Hmm. We honestly wouldn't be doing that much damage, so... I'm thinking we go for a bit a fiendus here. Let's see. And if you do special summon one from your hand, so we do not have one in hand is the issue. But we can still make big numbers. So yay. We'll go ahead and do this. Set it to summon a moonster. Uh, yeah, we can go ahead and do this. Uh, 
Which would be good here. Uh, I do like Spielegeist. So we'll tribute this, this, and I guess we have to. But I do like Spielegeist. Into face down defense mode. So yeah, guess we just battle. Uh, we'll go ahead and set the strike to protect ourselves from getting slurped. Ain't nobody want to get slurped. And there we go. Pulling this back just a little bit. Okay, there's a scapegoat. There, high bore load. So I guess we're striking the bore load then. Cool. Huh. <sighs> So, we just gotta wait for Borlo to come down, no problem. He's gonna make Link Karibo, Proxy Dragon, Link Spider, then go into Borlo, I guess. Yep, Link Karibo. Nope, we're going to hold it, because we are smart like that. There's the Proxy. Oh, Normal Chain. Make sure we get that. Okay, so he's reviving Link Karibo. No. That's pretty smart, actually. Ooh, do we want to? No. No. Uh, it, it pains me to do so. But I think this is the correct play. So he's tributing a dark monster to make me shuffle... No. I don't mind putting this back on the bottom of my deck. I do not mind that at all, actually. So now I... I hope I didn't miscall... Yes, this is where we do it. No. Do not... There we go. I guess he didn't have any defensive traps, so striking it there, we flip up our Spielegeist, then we just attack directly twice and win! Alright, we pulled that back. Holding the strike. Holding the strike. That was great. You know, good game. Uh, if he hadn't tried to go so far in, though, I'm pretty sure I would have lost. But uh, yeah, put up a win already. Not bad. See you guys in game two. Alright, welcome to game two of zero. We're going for rock. Ooh, okay. Uh, so we lost that one. Not great. This hand. Also not great. Uh, pin magicians? Yeah, it looks like we're playing against some pin magicians. I don't necessarily mind this matchup. I would have liked to go first just to set my solemns. I did design this to try to go first. <sighs> but, so yeah, he's going to be doing... Pendulum Magician plays. Ooh! That's a Zephra. Alright, maybe he's just using that for the support, but it is good that he was able to get the uh, Electromite, Electromite out before the Pendulum Summon. But looks like we are playing against some Zephras here. Uh, honestly, there's not much commentary I can do on this just because I... Honest to God, don't really know anything about Zephyrs outside of they do insane pendulum plays. So, I mean, anything I say here is just going to be sort of speculative at best. I know he has a good pendulum board set up right now. Uh, one to six, two zones from the extra deck, and anything else in his hand, so that's pretty good. Uh, Zephyr. Zephrani and oh mythical beast too? Huh. Is he just playing like all the really good pendulum engines? I wonder. Uh, what's Zephrani do? When it's pendulum summoned or when it's destroyed by battle or card effect, you can add a Ying Zing or Zephyr spell trap from your deck to your hand, okay. So he adds the province, I believe that's a rota. Uh what's this one do? Normal pendulum, you can add a face up Zephyr monster from your extra deck to your hand. Okay. Uh, what's this do? 
Each time a spell is activated, place two spell counters on this card. When that spell resolves, remove two and negate the activation. Okay, uh, so that's a negate. Uh, that's a big wall. He searched the Zephyr War. I believe that's also a negate. And this is a negate, so... That is free negates. Free negates, boys. Free negates. Uh, so we are kind of in trouble. There's really not much we can do here. Uh, summon Nemesis and Hope. That is our play. Summon Nemesis and Hope. I'm gonna need. I need you guys to hope with me here. Because <laughs> this could go very bad very fast. Uh, let's see. So we do have at least the final battle. Final battle. Solid trap card. It can set a sub terror, change a sub there to face down defense. Or, or face up or face down defense. Uh, it can double one's attack. Let's see, he's using that. Uh, so we can go ahead and do it. Change the face down or increase attack and defense. Even if we were to increase attack and defense. So I'm going to change this to face down, I think. Maybe we draw it in the gate. That's kind of the hope here. So there we go. The Zephyr Divine Strike. Uh... Let's see. Negate the activation. Destroy it. Yeah, I'm going to burn it. I don't like burning it. But I want to be able to do things. Unfortunately, Boomastrix. A when effect. When a card is slid face down. So yeah, that's... uh. No idea why Konami makes win effects. I I don't get it. I don't think anyone who plays decks that have win effects get it. Because this deck would be so much better if it didn't miss timing. And in case you're curious to know... Oh, he's Pendulum Summoning. I guess he's getting the, the Zephrani back. Yeah. Uh, we strike that. We are not fans. Uh... We probably just lost, didn't we? I think we lost. Uh, got too caught up with the win effects. Well, we probably lost anyways. But, still. We, we lost badly now. <sighs> uh, oh yeah, we actually get to use our archer. Unless he negates. Uh, dang. Forgot about that. <sighs> but yeah, this is a uh, this is game. So game two, not going nearly as well as game one. We definitely jumped the gun with our trap cards. Uh, real unfortunate. We tried too hard to keep the final battle. But you know, so far we are one for one. Uh, but yeah, let's hope final game three goes to plan. I'll see you guys there. Alright, welcome to the real final game with Sui Generos. And we lost that one. Maybe we can still go first. Or maybe we shouldn't go first. Ugh, this hand's kind of rough. I mean, we could summon a tarot tray, I guess. Oh. Oh, wow. Uh, can I set another? Oh shoot, are you are you gonna set please set no he only set four. Uh let's see. Uh what can we do? We don't necessarily have a whole lot of options, so Tarot Tray is probably good here. So dump the stalagmo. To summon ourselves a tarot tray, because we can get our stalagmo back in the end phase. Uh, 
I suppose we could summon Warrior. I definitely do not mind having Warrior as a option. So I will. And that does make our Fiend alive. So, waiting. For what? Oh, he's... Um... Yes. Uh, flip it face down to negate the Dinomiscus. Uh, no. So, less damage for us, but, uh, change to face up attack position, we will. Which is pretty good. Uh, I mean, we're playing against Paleo. Guess it was just a frog player who bricked. I guess, uh, yeah, so let's just battle, I suppose. A little bit of damage, never a bad thing. Uh, no. I mean, we'll get a... the lagmo back in the end phase, so... Yay. Alright, so... Now we go main phase 2. We will set the final battle. Then we will move to... In phase, where we will get to use Tarot Tray's effect to summon our Stalegmo back. Maybe draw out a back row? Okay, so the trap trick is coming down. Banish a normal trap. All the Paleozoics are normal traps, so. Still no? Still no. He won't be able to activate that, so he will get, unfortunately, his trap back. So that will resolve. He won't be able to activate it in the chain, and then Tarot Tray should resolve here. So, okay, I can dig it. Uh, but what does he banish and set? Alright, so he's going for Olenoids, uh, which is spell traps. And yay. Yay us. Alright, so yeah, there's Olenoids. Who's planning on destroying our final battle? Uh. Ooh, I really want my final battle. Uh. This is a tough call. Yes. I would rather have a Umastrix right now. If I am being real. So let this resolve first. So we'll be tributing our sl Slagmo for our boy Umastrix. Better defenses. And a free banish on flip, which we can use our tarot tray with. So normal chain is on Reckless Greed. Do I let that re resolve? No. Well, it would resolve anyways. But, yeah, he's putting himself in a bit of a spot here, actually. Uh, because by Reckless Greeting, he actually loses resources for his next two turns, considering he's playing, you know, what at the moment appears to be pure paleo. Like, weird. Uh, hold a... Paleozoic Pikia. Let's see. Discard a Paleozoic, then draw two once per chain when a trap is activated. Uh, yes, actually. Change to face up defense position for now. Er, oh, I guess we accidentally clip, clicked the flip option. I mean, that's still fine. Can we not target it? Uh, am I missing something? Unaffected by other monsters' effects. Uh, did I click the wrong button? Yeah, we clicked the wrong button. That was rather dumb of us. But, I mean, pure Paleozoics. 
That's pretty cool. I'm not really sure what it does here for him, but who knows? Uh, let's see. One day of peace, of course. <gasps> it's a Venus. It's really good. We got Venus, guys. Oh, it's so nice to have this Venus. Uh, we unfortunately will not be able to kill next turn. Not gonna be able to kill. But, uh, you know, that's fine. We still have plenty of good setup options. And, you know, we can... We can banish the Pikaya at least. So that's alright. And we do have A negate. So there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and go plus, shall we? Maybe bait the negates. Because he has tons. Uh, so this will let us search a tarot tray. Again. So there's the Wabaku. Did he not read One Day of Peace? Did he not read One Day of Peace? Did you not read One Day of Peace? Oh, that's cute. You didn't read One Day of Peace. It's this, this guy. Just this guy, right? What a dude. So yeah, let's go ahead and pre prep. Uh, no. Go ahead and search the last of these. We can go ahead and grab ourselves. Well, actually, first we're going to go ahead and flip summon this guy. Uh, use our behemoth to target one monster opponent controls. Banish it. Uh, and warrior will special summon himself. So he will... Actually, Umastrix is the one we care about, so... Let's go ahead and hit that Pikaya. Uh, no. So, there. Now we go ahead and reuse our prediction ritual. Because we can do that. Uh, no. We'll just discard. Now we could... We would be getting Umastrix back anyways, so... Yeah, I think I'm going to activate Warrior's Effect. Uh... What do we want? Uh... I actually want Spielgeist right now. No. Uh, we will be tributing the Umastrix. For this defense position -y boy. Now to the battle phase. Uh, attack. Oh wait, I forgot the Wabaku. His stuff can't be destroyed by battle, right? Yeah, I forgot about the Wabaku. My bad. Alright, main phase 2. Uh... Yeah, I say we just end our turn here. Yes. We'll activate this one. Special a flip. Change the face down defense. We're specialing a flip. And if it gets negated, we have the other one and Fiendus in hand. So it's okay. Let's see. Uh, your opponent gains 3,000 life points. I guess... No. I will not chain, thank you very much. I guess he's just doing that to get stuff. Uh, I actually will be chaining to the trap. I am not a fan of that. Let's see, what else does he have? Uh, another trap trick, so... No. He's really going through his deck fast. I mean, he's not going to be able to draw next turn. He put himself in a bit of a position. Alright, Canadia. 
change one face up. Ooh, that's actually... I actually will do that. So if I flip that face down... Chain Link 8. Olenoids destroy... Okay, um... This is... Chain Link 10, by the way. Uh... Just... Okay. Uh... Wow, this is... This is going somewhere. Oh, he's setting another Reckless Greed. Fair. I mean, I guess that's pretty smart. Oh, wow. Um... Yeah, we're setting Umistrix. That was an interface. Okay, so now he's reckless greeting for his draws, I guess. And the next summon. Uh. Shoot, that was. That was a turn. Uh, so let's see. We could flip the Umistrix, banish a monster. Flip that to zero out a monster. Or reflip our tarot tray. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and reflip our tarot tray. So we have that other. And that's gonna be okay. You know, we don't misplay twice. Now we do have another flip, a little bit more offense on our board. Now the question is, what does he do here? Probably just make like a boar load or something, right? Hmm. Nope, make a skull dread, I guess. That's That's your play, I suppose. Um So yeah, we're gonna hold A real fast. Try to chain abilities. What? Uh, no, I guess. Let's see. Uh I mean, I guess we're here. Doesn't seem like you're running monsters, so... I don't think that the Skull Dread's gonna help you too much here, actually. Urgh. This is a weird match. Never actually played against pure Paleozoic. Um... Run a surprising amount of give me life points. Uh, what's he gonna set? Let's uh, see. Let's see. Hmm. I mean, seems consistent at least. Like, have all the access to your trap cards that you could want. But still, I'm not sure. Oh, I feel like Skull Dread's a weird choice here. Uh, and, I mean, was this supposed to be a Nurse Burn thing? Because, okay, Wabaku, Trap Trick, and Wabaku. I'm guessing these are just the last traps in his deck right now. Uh, hopefully we hit something that won't screw us? Uh... Kinda hope we hit the trap trick. Cause if we could get those out of his deck, that would be absolutely sick. Alright. Another gift card to summon back his guys, so no. Uh we can we have a banish and a negate, kind of, so I'm not sure what your win con is, dude. You're just giving me life points. Uh, okay, good. So we did hit the trap trick. So we should be getting his last Wapku then? Dynamiscus. Uh. Yeah, this is gonna be his last Wapku at least. Hmm. This is a very weird position. Uh, so 
so let's see. The Wabaku is pretty troublesome, but that's all is Wabaku. So, yay. Uh, I do wish we had a Fiendus, but no. I feel fairly comfortable with where we are, at least. So, right now, we should probably just... Umastrix the Skulldeet? If we can. So, yeah, we're gonna... Umastrix the Skulldeet. Yes. Again, we care more about Umastrix effect, so... We don't want him having too much access to his extra deck. So we do get our warrior back at least. Now we can flip summon the Spielgeist. I guess. Uh, we can use Spielgeist effects at least. Uh, turn something to attack, change its attack to zero. Uh, sure, I guess we need to target something. No. Now we can special summon the... It's going to be a weird play. Admittedly, it will be a weird play. Uh, but it will be good if we can get the Fiendus out. Now we will summon this, activate, go ahead and send another Umastrix for that level 7. No. Send those two, summon Umastrix face down. Uh, we can't really do anything because Wabaku, so we'll just end our turn there. Activate effects. Special flip. Yes. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Can we need to change the face of attack? Change the face of defense. Uh, in that case, we'll just go with this. And what do we want for defense? Uh, another Umastrix, I guess. Uh, yes. So we can special summon yet another one. Stalagmo is probably our best defense for now. So yeah. We got a full board of big boys. So he does that to search. I don't see how you win here, dude. Uh, his stuff isn't affected by anything, so we're not gonna waste our time with that. He could make an insane board here. Possibly. Possibly. But let's see. Uh, yeah, there's the Miss Starboy. Not exactly a good use, but okay. Activate it to change one to face of attack. In the form of this Umastrix. Yes, to banish the Miss Starboy because it can be targeted and affected. Later, Miss Starboy. So send a trap from your deck to the graveyard and get things back. Rough. But I guess you can just make another Miss Starboy now. But yeah, um... Go ahead, make Miss Starboy number two. Does this just let activate trap cards from hand? This card effects can activate Paleozoic trap cards from hand. Okay, so that's neat. Uh, seems like you're searching really hard right now. Not sure. Oh, hope for escape. Uh, so I guess. Hope for escape? That's a weird choice to make in this deck. 
like, you get to draw your entire deck, I suppose, but, like, that's not very worth it. Uh, so he's gonna set that and, I guess, try to kill himself with hope for escape? I mean, it's a weird play, but okay. Now he can summon a monster from his hand. Or just go for a Scaldi. Of course. Because, are you just trying to draw yourself to death? Are you actually just trying to draw yourself to death right now? Because you just gave up all of your resources. I don't want him to draw himself to death. I don't want him to draw himself to death. I will stop him before he can draw himself to death, unless he just played two hope for escapes. Eh, it's pretty good. Uh... No? I guess? Draw your whole deck? So... The... The Dinomiscus comes back. Um... Oh. That was Exodia. There was a Exodia there. A unexpected Exodia. Wow, that is embarrassing. I... Okay, yeah, uh, one... Uh... Unexpected... Exodia. Yep, uh... Unexpected Exodia. Um, Sue Generis, you are. You are the best Exodia player I think I have ever seen. I wasn't expecting Exodia till the very end. And it, here it just was. Like, you revealed nothing of your plans. Like,. Wow, I have been outdueled by you, sir. I have been outdueled, and for that, if anyone watches this hard, just give this man a clap in the chat, because he, he really does deserve it. But, uh, yeah. So that was sub -tears. Honestly, TCG Legal sub -tears, uh, not as bad as I thought they'd be. I actually found them to be a pretty agreeable as far as the play style goes. Uh, outside of my own misplays, I don't really see anything too wrong with the deck. I definitely wish they weren't win effects, but like, you know, that'd be an automatic improvement on everything. But uh, yeah, I enjoyed these TCG Legal sub -tears. but you know what, let me know what you think of TCG Legal sub -tears. Should they be, o should I have done OCG Legal sub -tears? Because I am told that that is actually a much better deck because guru control is insane but uh yeah like if you liked comment if you have something to say and subscribe if you want some more this has been ronin signing off